everybody. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to my channel. Today is Wine Wednesday, so why not have your girlfriends come over? I love having my girlfriends come over. I have a, a handful of really, really, really good friends. Matter of fact, my best friend lives about 20 miles down the road from me, which is great. So, I love to just get some things together and think, okay, Wine Wednesday, what goes well with wine? Cheese and Italian meats. So let me show you what I got. Move a little platter. Here I have Havarti with dill and Havarti with jalapeno. If you've never tried Havarti, who are you missing out? And they have a ton of flavors. The dill is actually one of our favorites. This is just mozzarella. And then of course, grapes. Now for the good platter. Here we have salami, uh, Coppola, Coppola, something like that. I don't know. Prosciutto, mm, the best. If you haven't had prosciutto, you are missing out. And then some just, you know, garden vegetable crackers. The crackers are good enough. You don't need anything on them. But if you want to put cheese on them, fine. If not, that's fine too. I mean, I can eat them plain. They're just really, really flavorful. And it's just a little more something that's, you know, sub substantial. I love to do stuff like this. Now, what I think about too, now I'm a, I am a classic overthinker, kind of in a good way and kind of in a bad way, but I do always try to think, okay, if I'm gonna have this to eat, then I need to have this to drink because the Italian meat, if you haven't had any of it, it is super salty, but it is amazing. And then the cheese, I mean, you've had cheese before, it's it's creamy, but the dill has a little bit of a lighter taste because it's, it's more dill than cheese and it is, really good. Then we have jalapeno. Well, you know jalapeno is hot. So what do you do? A rosé with fruit. My favorite, favorite part is getting to the drink. So what I did, now I don't know if you've seen any of my videos, you know, I don't like real, real sweet things. I don't like, I don't like a lot of candies and cake. I mean, I can do without it. Now, sure, I enjoy coconut cake and stuff like that every once in a while, but it's not something I have to have. Well, I'm the same way with my alcohol, my wine, anything. I don't want anything super, super sweet. Well, I found that. This is Robert Mondavi Rosé. Now, Robert Mondavi has some really amazing wines. This is not one of them. But I do like the fact that it's not super sweet, but it kind of has a woodsy, smoky kind of undertone. Uh, it's really hard to explain. It's really, really weird. But I have figured out a way to make it really, really good. So, you know me, I love to throw things together and try to make something, you know, kind of for myself. So what I did, <clears throat> look at this cute bottle. See, it has like a little strainer. So you can put fruit or anything that you want to infuse. You can put it in here and when you pour it out, the fruit stays in here. Oh, wish I would've found this a long time ago. This is amazing. I need to get like a ton of these. And another one of my secrets that I have recently, <sighs> frozen fruit. I have always bought fresh fruit because I thought, well, frozen fruit just won't be the same. Well, I have spent so much money and wasted so much time on fresh fruit. And it, you know, it's heartbreaking when it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna buy this fruit, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna do that then you don't and you throw it away. And you, it's just, it's so upsetting to just feel like all that money just keeps going out the door. Trust me, it happens to me all the time. So frozen fruit. This is the triple mixed berry. This is raspberry, blueberry, and blackberry. Uh, this is one of my all time favorite, favorite mixes of fruit, especially for drinks. Now, what I did is I put some in the bottom of here and then I just poured the rosé on top and let it sit. Then what I did is I put some fruit in the bottom of my glass. Now this one is already made. This is just fruit in the bottom and then the rosé on top. Now, again, if you've seen me before, you know another one of my secrets, flavored sparkling water. This is the Ozarka Berry. I just, a little splash, and it just, I mean, can you see the bubbles? I don't know if you can see that. It just, it turns it into a sparkling rosé, and it gives it an incredible flavor. 
and the water it just it elevates it a little bit more and it's water again you're adding a little bit of water into your drink so i mean it's a little healthier i mean you're still getting a little bit of water flavored water at that anyway i love ozarka it i mean look you can see all the bubbles and especially if you want anything that's you know like a sparkling um if you if you, if you can even put it in alcohol if you just kind of want that just a little bit of effervescence like oh, that is really really good cheers makes me excited <laughs> it tastes just the flavor is just incredible and see it's still not super super sweet but it elevated it enough to where now it actually tastes like a less sweet rosé but it actually has a rosé flavor now now that's my preference i do love the robert mandalby because of that reason as it doesn't taste like rosé at all not in my opinion and to add the fruit, it, it makes it, it makes it kind of something like, oh, that's perfect. Because it is kind of hard for me to find the perfect rosé because some of them are either way too sweet or they're way too dry. It's just like wine. So again, I find things that I can do to make it better for me and my flavor profile. And this is perfect. So you have a sparkling rosé now. Go get you some, go get some cheese, go get some meat, invite your girlfriends over, make some sparkling rosé and just enjoy things. Enjoy life. Enjoy being with the people that you absolutely love, people that you treasure, people that you have to be around. That's what I do. And if anyone has ever come to any of my parties and anyone that really knows me knows, you do not go home empty handed. I send people home with a bottle of wine, a bottle of rosé. I know what all my girlfriends like. I know what their favorite things are. So I go and I buy individually, I buy their wine. I put it in a bag and when they come over, they get to go home with a bottle of wine. I love doing that. I just, I don't know, I love to just be good to my people because they've been good to me all these years. So they deserve it. So that's why I go out of my way. I'll put flowers out and candles and I'll make sure that all my girlfriends are happy and I will have them a drink when they walk through that door. So I uh, try this, put some, try to get some fruit, put it in some rosé or some, even just regular wine. If you have a wine that's really, really dry that someone gave you for Christmas or your birthday and you're like, this isn't good, add some, this triple berry I think is the best and you can eat it also. And another good thing about the frozen is when you put it in here, it makes everything cold. It's just like an ice cube. So go out, try it, enjoy it, enjoy your girlfriends. Cheers.